So I came out to uh, check on this girl. It doesn't look like she, doesn't look like she, uh, she laid. But this girl is uh, some eggs in there. So uh, I'll get back to you guys in a minute. She's probably in the process of laying. She's in a little spot there. So let her finish up for a little bit and I'll come back. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, gave her some time. I'm gonna dig in and see what we got going on here. This is the uh, wild type female, which I figured she was a day or so away from laying, and the melanistic one that I showed you the other day was about to lay. So, first off, I mean, there's two eggs um, here. I guess she laid in there. I'm thinking she did, but we're gonna find out. So let me get my uh, egg laying device. Not device, but... Uh, a spot to put these eggs and uh, hopefully let's we'll see what we get what's up girl so these eggs uh, that I just grabbed look nice and solid used to use these little tubs for uh, geckos. So I might have caught her in the middle. I don't know yet. Yep, she's got a bunch in here. I think she might still be laying. I think we caught her in the middle. Let's check her out. Don't bite me. She's not happy. So I need to leave her alone. All right, we'll come back. All right, so we're gonna dig up these eggs. She's kind of popping her head out. So let's see what's up. So same deal as some of my other videos. Did you lay me some good eggs, huh? Feel a little lighter. Let me get her uh, somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, we got her put away. So let's see what we got. Again, this is a uh, this is just for uh, leopard geckos. Fill this whole thing with like um, spag moss and the rest of the enclosure. You could leave uh, paper towel or whatever, and this would give them a human hide. This also gave them a place to lay their eggs. So let's take a look and see what uh, we got in here. So earlier today, she had a bunch of eggs in here. There's the first one. Awesome. So I got her, just left her in here, I guess. Uh, it's not gonna bother me. So let me scoop these eggs. This is where I put the ones from earlier. Over here and here. So let me get some spots laid. For these. Can't do two things at once, I guess. Can I have your eggs, please? Stay on that side. So 
this is a nice egg. Seven. Okay, eight. Looks like I got ten. Good. Oh, there's eleven. Sorry, I'm not talking too much, kind of just paying attention to everything here. Looks like I got them all. These dang super worms. Eat this. Okay, that's it. Uh, actually, good video. I got uh, three, six, nine, ten, eleven eggs. I'd say it's a normal clutch for Lacerda. I've seen higher. Uh, check out some of my other videos. Let me check the dirt around just to make sure there's nothing going on. As you saw in the previous clip, she said she dropped two on the outside. I don't know, like she was running to the, to the, the egg laying spot and couldn't wait anymore. I didn't think she was ready until uh, a day or so away from now. So. Okay, so let me seal these up. Get a date on there. So the pairing for these ones was the wild type female, uh, which is this girl here. a wild type female and she was bred to a melanistic male um, she has for the past couple years and uh, out of that um, I have babies that I'm trying to prove out um, on the genetics and see what the uh, the babies from her cross to a solid melanistic pair you know see exactly what's going on so just mixing them up a little bit Let me get this container dated and uh, pretty much that's it. So good solid uh, clutch. These will all come out looking normals even though the father uh, was melanistic. Uh, they'll be uh, carrying the gene over. Um, I am breeding some that are het melanistic. So they look like this but they carry the het gene. Um, breeding it back to a solid melanistic male. That was one of the first clutches that laid this year. So, that's it. Any questions, leave them below. Um, get her in focus here. Yeah, if you got any questions, leave them below and um, go from there. Thanks, subscribe, and if you want to see more stuff, uh, comment below, let me know what you want to see. Thanks.